So today, I'm very excited. My grandma is going to teach you how to make her oxtail soup. <laughs> Number one. Uh, she usually cooks this for me uh, or for the whole family during Thanksgiving or uh, Korean uh, New Year's. If I had to die tomorrow, this would be my dinner. That's how much I like it. And she's going to show you how to do it. All right, Hanma, you ready? I think. I think. Nice. <laughs> nice. If you've never had oxtail, it's a beautiful meat. I mean, it's just the tail of a, of a cow. You see that's the bone and then there's meat around it. So when you put it in its stew, it gets very soft and you can just pull this apart and it's very delicious. We're gonna use one kilo, so use around two pounds. And also this is one of the more inexpensive cuts of meat. In Korea, in the countryside, they also like to include uh, cow's feet. Very gelatinous, so when you cook this down, it's all, it's, all, it's all jelly, baby. But today we're not going to actually put this in the soup because I want to show you the more simpler version. But feel free to mix the two meats. So we're going to wash each piece. You know, get any of the uh, bone fragments out. And then we're going to fill it up with some water here. Enough water to cover the meat. All right, for 30 minutes, we're going to let it sit. You know what? Maybe we'll put in a few pieces just to show you how this meat looks like when it's finished. Harmony, maybe we put in... All right, so now I think the total weight's gonna be around two and a half pounds here. So again, you can mix it up like this or just use ox tail bones. Some spoon A lot of blood, right? It's turned pink like salmon. Okay, empty it out, put it into a very big pot. And then we're gonna do a rough boil, so it doesn't matter how much water you put in. Just enough to cover the bones. High heat. We do the first boil again to get all of the debris and the bone fragments and excess blood, that flavor out of the meat. <laughs> My grandma uses the word shivang, which is very close to a very, like the F word in Korea, but that means uh, right now, so don't uh, misunderstand. Shivang is hatturi, jo. Jeollado saturi. That's right. <laughs> Turn this off. All right. Using my mom as an assistant here. One more wash under cold water. And then we'll put the beef back in. That's the cow feet and then that's the ox tail. We need 25 cups. You can just use the regular standard cup. This bowl has a 10 cup measuring line right there. First 10 cups in. Good. Bring it up to boil on high heat. Ooh, this is gonna be so good. Lid on. Okay, so it's boiling. Just want to take out the initial like uh, skunk off the top, and then put the lid back on. You want to put the heat on a low heat. Something like that, right? We don't see any big flames, just a low heat. And this is what I mean by low heat. Very gentle simmer, not like a roaring boil. So it's been around uh, two, three hours. You see all that fat mm. on top? Yeah, we'll take it out. Mm. Now we're gonna let it continue to uh, simmer away. I'm going to go to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. to go to the house. I'm going to go to 
she need to step up? Mm -hmm. All right, now she can see it, good. And so basically all of the fat that was within the bones and within the meat has all reduced out and is here. Wow, wow you see it's gonna fall off the bones. Look guys, it just rips apart, right? Mm. Oh my god. Guys, we're gonna dice up some green onions for toppings. It gives a nice uh, refreshing lift. We haven't added any seasoning to that broth, right? We're gonna add some salt mm. here to a little tray. A teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of black pepper. That's some. Okay. And then just mix it. Right now, right after five hours, the broth is milky. It's really tasty. But, um, you know, tomorrow you can just eat it again. That gelatinous beef foot. Look at that right here. Let's add that, Mom. I really like this one. I love it. Very nice. All right. That's the setup, guys. Oregon And let me show you how to eat this thing properly. We got the green onions, and we're going to just spread it over the top. You know, the more the better for this one, all right? Because uh, it's gonna give it a nice, refreshing kick. We have to add seasoning. We haven't added anything to this broth yet, so it's very plain. But I want you to taste the soup first and see how milky and how nice it is. Take a sip. Very nice. Get a little bit of salt, maybe around that much, and you just wanna mix it in. So let me try. Just add a little bit more, all right? And then, Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect, guys. With the chopsticks, look it. It just slides off the bone like that. Doesn't it look like carnitas or something? Just break it apart. We're gonna put this to the side. This was the gelatinous uh, feet portion. This one you can split up like this as well. And it's, you know, it just melts in your mouth. It's like collagen. It's very nice. Makes your skin good, apparently. <laughs> I'm gonna leave one bone in there because I like to just eat it with my hand. Next thing, we're gonna just add a big scoop of rice. And then this becomes like a soup, like this. Just get a big spoonful of rice and the meat. Get a little kimchi on the side. It would be wrong if I had the first bite. How many? Hey, you go to the next one. I really didn't know it was this simple. I'm really surprised. All it was was just like beef broth. Mm. High five, Chincha. Nice. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs>